Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I have really been looking forward to filming, although I'm a little bit nervous about it too, but it's one that you guys have been asking me to film for quite some time now, so I'm just going to go for it and do it and hope that it works out. It's a spring fashion haul and I really should have done it before because I'm looking at the pile of clothes in front of me and accessories and other bits and pieces and I think that this will be too long for one video. So I think I'm going to split this up into two videos. I'm going to call this part one and make sure to come back for part two. I think I'll try and do clothes in this one and accessories like bags and shoes in the second video. So hopefully you will come back for number two. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure to click the subscribe button, that little red button down below so that you don't miss any future videos from me. You can also press that little bell icon and that will let you know when I upload new videos videos. So I'm just going to start straight away because there is quite a lot here um, and I think what I'll do is I'll start with the things that I haven't opened up yet because quite a few bits I've already started wearing and you will have seen them either on my Instagram stories or on an Instagram post or something like that. So or in vlogs even you might have seen some of my new stuff. So I think what I'll do is start with the things that haven't been opened yet. I'm going away on holiday really soon, so quite a lot of these things I've bought to take away on holiday with me. I'm really excited to open them up with you now. So I'm going to start with this one. It's a temple bag, as you can see. I went to Bisto with a friend of mine just recently, and this is the only piece of clothing that I came back with. I was very good. I actually had planned to come back with nothing. <laughs> I'm just warning you now, there is a theme, as I was collating everything together, there is a theme through the clothes that I bought, which in a sense is good, it means that things will go with other things, but there is a lot of similarity as well. That's probably because I tend to gravitate to the same kinds of style, like year on year, season on season. Anyway, let me open this up. So first up is this really pretty, very feminine, girly dress from Templey. It's full sleeved, it's quite loose and flowing. It's got little lace details on the cuffs and at the bottom of the dress. And it's got a lovely little bow tie as well at the neckline. It buttons down to the waist and then just falls loosely, but it's quite a loose fit overall and it comes with its own little white slip, thank goodness, because otherwise it is quite sheer. So I'm looking forward to wearing this one on holiday because this is definitely a holiday dress but I would wear this in London as well, maybe with a pair of neutral or tan coloured shoes, quite light shoes and very light accessories and just let the dress do all the talking. I tend to do quite a lot of my shopping online basically because I just don't get the time to go into the shops as much as I would like to. One of my favourite shops is My Teresa, which I think is going to feature twice in this haul, possibly twice, maybe more. This is the first box. It comes in this beautiful white box as well with the little ribbon. So it makes really lovely packaging and opening it up is always such a pleasure. And everything is wrapped in this pale baby pink tissue. Like I said, there is a theme that's running through these clothes. And this is another white lace dress. This is definitely much more special than the Templey dress. This is from Self Portrait. I've just dropped the lining out, but there is a beautiful skin coloured slip that you wear underneath and it's actually the right colour for skin colour for me which is so unusual. Normally when I get nude coloured or skin coloured slips that come with dresses they're lighter than my skin tone and it doesn't quite look right but this is just the perfect skin colour slip. A full lace dress, long sleeves, very simple neckline, very simply made actually. It's a very heavy lace so it will fall really well on the body. It won't start ruffling up or anything like that. Such a pretty dress. This is definitely what I would call a special occasion lace dress. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to keep all of these clean. I think I'm going to be making frequent trips to the dry cleaners this coming season, but I think it will be worth it. On to a couple of boxes that I haven't even opened up yet. This one is from another shop that I shop at quite regularly online. This is Luisa Via Roma. It's one of these um, Italian boutiques and they stock lots and lots of really lovely brands. And quite often if I can't get a size on a website in the UK, I can quite often find it in Luisa Via Roma, but they also stock things that I don't see anywhere else. So it's always really exciting to go on their website and see what new stock is in. What I also quite often find with Luisa Via Roma is that 
they'll just do a different version of a style that you can find elsewhere. So the Gucci belt that you saw in my designer haul video back in autumn, I think it was, I've seen plain ones like that everywhere, but the one that I have I only saw on Luisa Villaroma, so it's quite nice because they're quite exclusive pieces as well. So let's open this one. This top is so beautiful, so, so beautiful. Before I've even taken it out of the box, I'm just in love. Again, the same kind of theme. It's a white lace top. This is from a designer called Jonathan Simkai. It's a really, really beautiful white lace top. This is probably, probably the most expensive item out of this haul but it is so beautiful. It's so classic and it's so me that I would wear this this year, next year, you know, I kind of, my style doesn't change that much every year, but things get worn out and that's why I have to buy new things. And it's always nice to get something a little bit new and refreshed in terms of style. So this is a little bit like a cold shoulder top in the sense that you can see, this is like a little cap sleeve that comes over the shoulder and then we have the rest of the sleeve that starts there. I love the way this is really a full sleeve with little ties at the cuffs, but the lace on this is so beautiful. It really is a very, very special top. It's for special occasions, I think, certainly in the beginning. I wouldn't be wearing this just to be traveling around London on the tube. I would hate to think how dirty it would get just traveling around London on the tube in this. This is my second piece from this designer and I'm pretty sure that I will probably get a few more pieces as time goes on and I'll definitely be keeping an eye on when his pieces go on sale because they are quite expensive. They are investment pieces but because they are investment pieces I don't really mind buying things like that on sale if I know that they're classic and I could wear them next season as well. I've bought this in the size small, so I hope that's going to fit. It looks like it's quite an oversized piece though, so I hope that's going to fit. Trying to juggle this <laughs> with this on here. This is the tag that if you take this tag off, um, you can't return it. And I think that's probably because they have people trying to wear pieces and then send them back. I mean, you couldn't wear this without taking the tag off. It does make me laugh. So far, everything I've shown you has been white and in this box, no exception, another white piece. So let's open it up. This is from another website that I use quite often. It's from a website called Farfetch, which you can see there. And this is a little bit different from Luisa Villaroma in that they actually are like a shop window for lots and lots of boutiques all over, I was going to Europe, but I think it's actually all over the world. So for little shops that you know can't necessarily afford to have their own website, or even if they did, they wouldn't get the traffic on their website. Farfetch works like an umbrella website, I think, and little boutiques can use it as their shop front window and sell through there, and obviously have more visibility there. More white. <laughs> this is an odd one. The tags are already off this, so that's really weird. But anyway, you know I love a good off-the-shoulder bardo style top. I mean, this is actually a really old top from Isabelle Maron, and I still love it. I'll be wearing it this year. I think it's probably two years old or three years old, but it again, I, I just think of these things as investment pieces, and I'll bring them out every year. This is another bardo top. Beautifully done, this one. This is from Victoria, Victoria Beckham, and it looks like it was made for me. It's got this beautiful ruffle that goes all across the top and across the top of the arms, a proper bardo top, in the sense that the sleeves are slightly separated from the top, which means that I don't have that problem of the sleeves just constantly slipping up. I don't know if you've worn one of these bardo style tops, but the ones that go straight across like that, every time you move your arms up, it slips up and I hate that. I found a really lovely one last year that I wore lots and lots and I'll probably still wear it again, but it's looking tired, so I thought it was time to get a new one, and this one just fit the bill beautifully. This is long-sleeved, and it's got proper shirt cuffs. It's basically a take on a shirt, but a very girly, feminine take on a shirt. So it's even got the white buttons running all the way down the front of the shirt there, and it's sheared, like a smocking sheared, panel across the bust line and then it just drops away and very loose over the hips so really really easy to wear i'm sure i'm going to get loads and loads of wear out of this 
Yes, it is white. I'm going to be running back and forth to the dry cleaners with all of these things. But again, I think that it will be worth it. Staying with the white theme, but this is something that you've definitely seen me wear in photographs on Instagram and other places. This is one of the new Karen Millen white shirts from their white collection. I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically the sleeveless one with lots and lots of ruffles, ruffles across the shoulder there, ruffles down the side on each side, as you can see. And what I love also about this is that it can be worn just as a plain shirt like that, or you can wear this with the little tie that comes with it. And when this is tied up into a little bow tie around the neckline, it looks so, so cute. The very fitted shirt, so if you're not sure about sizes on this, I would go up a size. It's very fitted around the torso. But it's a really, really feminine, girly, girly shirt. And yes, it's white again. This is going to the dry cleaners very soon. <laughs> but it is so flattering that it's very worth it. Because these shoulders have this frill here, they give the illusion of an even narrower waist, which is always a good thing. Moving away from the white now, finally I'm on to the other colours that I bought, but again there is a theme. I seem to have just stuck to a couple of colours. I'm not really a colour person as you probably know, so bear with me. This is a gorgeous little top that I found on Matches in the sale. Matches is another website that I love to shop on. This was in the sale by a designer called Anna October. I think I've got the name right, but I will definitely put all the information and links if you fancy picking anything up. It'll all be in the information box below, so make sure to click that open to find out more about everything that I'm showing you. But this is a lovely peachy baby pink, very loose shirt, again with a tie around the neck. It's a cold shoulder shirt, it's got quite a nice cold shoulder to it there. I love the material of this. It's almost semi-sheer with a lovely stripe that runs through it. I'm really not describing this very well, but hopefully the cutaways will show you what this really looks like. In my high street haul video, which I will link for you somewhere up here or down below, you will have seen this top that I bought from Zara, which confused me a bit. I bought this back in autumn last year, but to me, with those sleeves, that's very much a spring-summer top. Anyway, I got this last year and I have loved wearing this. As soon as the weather turned warm, I have definitely been wearing this top. So when I was walking past a very high street store in Oxford Street between meetings one day, I saw this top in the window and I had to just go in and get it. And it is not too dissimilar. Obviously this has got the flared ruffle sleeve at the end rather than the lace. This is not really a bardo top, but it's such a wide boat neck that it really is just as flattering as a bardo top. A bit like the Victoria Victoria Beckham top, it's got the ruffle that goes all the way round, front and back, and it's got this little tie here, which you tie into a little bow. Now you can wear this at the front or at the back. I think I saw it in the shop window. This was worn at the front. When I've seen this on website, I've seen it worn at the back, so I think it really depends on you. You'd never guess where this is from. I've had so many compliments on this, so I think I'm gonna surprise you. Go check in the information box and see where I got this from. You will be amazed. I've obviously got a thing for baby pink and blush pink because the other thing I picked up recently was this really, really simple top from H&M. I was in there shopping with my daughter for something for her and I saw this and I thought the color was gorgeous and it's super, super soft. I think this was about eight pounds, 7.99 or something like that. Just a really simple baby pink marl, I think marl is the right word for it, jersey t-shirt. It's super plain, just with a little breast pocket on the left hand side and little turn ups on each sleeve, which give it just a little bit more gravitas, but otherwise so easy to throw on with a pair of jeans. Staying on the high street now, last year I bought the most incredible pair of jeans from River Island. Love them to death. They were a pair of ripped jeans in their new fit, which is called Relaxed Skinny. And I love them. I wore them the whole summer and they got a little bit too ripped. I mean, just at the knees, but they were just more ripped than ripped, if you see what I mean. And my husband did say to me that he liked that ripped look, but maybe that was a bit too much. So luckily this year they re-released exactly the same jean, so I went and got it, and it is called the Alana jean. Such a good fit. I find it really hard to get a good fit trouser because I've got a tiny little waist, 
and then to get things that fit my waist then it's too small elsewhere like for example Zara is I find a difficult fit for trousers for me but River Island really gets it right and this is no exception so they are just a really lovely wash of blue I love this color and the rips start there lower than the hip bone kind of about two inches down the thigh on each knee there's all of that there and what I really love about these is they've got that ripped frayed look at the ankle as well and these work as cropped ones on me which is also hard because I'm only five foot two so it's hard to get ones that work as cropped ones because I do like to show off my shoes and these have that uneven edge at the ankle so it really does show off the ankle bone which is so sexy and really shows off the shoes as well. This dress you've definitely seen. I've had such lovely compliments from all of you on my Instagram about this. This is a really pretty, cute, floral dress that I got from H&M. I was actually after the net one that you've probably seen all over their advertising campaign, but you can't buy it. It's ridiculous, you cannot buy it unless you're in a medium large. The dress itself is already so oversized. Um, an extra small to small is just not available anywhere. Trust me, I have tried and tried and tried till I was blue in the face. So I ended up buying this one, which is quite different from the other one. So I think I probably will still get that one if my size ever comes back into stock. But this is just a really simple sundress, a lovely floral print. It's actually quite a heavy material, so it really falls well. It doesn't look like it costs I think it was 18 pounds. It's a really lovely dress. I'll insert a picture here that um, was on my Instagram so you can see what the dress looked like and how I styled it up. And it's got some frills, but really deep frills, asymmetric deep frills that run across the bottom of the dress. It feels so much heavier and more expensive than it actually is, but for 18 pounds, I thought it's literally less than the price of a top. So I really enjoyed wearing that. Now, please excuse me for a little bit of black into the wardrobe just because it's me. <laughs> I've really been loving that wide leg look, like a smart pair of wide leg trousers that just look so easy on. But when you're five foot two, it's really hard to get ones that are flattering and don't just make you look really squat and short. I found these ones in M&S and I was seriously lucky because these were still current season when I bought them but for some reason they had gone into this out of season sale which was really odd so instead of paying 39.50 I got them for 22 pounds I still have to go and get them shortened because they're obviously a little bit long for me but I just love the way they are super simple and plain with a white stripe that runs down the outer leg and at the bottom of the leg they are split now obviously that's going to get shorter when I get these shortened but still, that little split just makes them even more casual and a little bit more special and I'm really looking forward to getting those altered to fit me and then start wearing them. I would probably wear them actually with white trainers. I think that would look really, really nice. And just a plain white t-shirt. I just think really, really simple, very casual outfit. Maybe even a blazer to smarten it up if I needed to, but really looking forward to wearing those. I've got a few trips coming up in the next couple of months. One of them is for my friend's 40th and we're heading off to a very fashionable European city. I won't tell you yet which one, but you can probably guess. And we're heading there for a girly weekend, so I wanted to start looking to see what clothes I wanted to take with me for that. And this is the dress that I bought to wear for, oops, her birthday dinner when we're out there. It's really hard to show cold shoulder tops because they just keep slipping off the hanger. But this is a dress from a designer called Michael Lasordo, and I saw this online and took a chance and bought it. I've actually worn it twice already, although I really shouldn't have. I bought it to wear for her, for her event, but a couple of events have come up recently which it just worked perfectly for. So I have already worn this a couple of times. It's due to go to the dry cleaners and then I'm just going to keep it until I go for her birthday weekend. But I thought I would show it to you really quickly. It's a very simple dress, obviously with the cold shoulder. It's a very, very flattering cold shoulder on this down into long sleeves and a really lovely fluted end to the sleeve and that's echoed in the fluted end to the dress which comes just above the knee. It's a really flattering design, love this dress. The material is really quite a strong material so I really like the fact that it kind of holds you in. I'll probably wear a Spanx underneath it just to be sure but it really holds you in as well so it's a really lovely occasion dress proper cocktail dress. 
I think I'm glad I decided to keep the accessories to another video because this is obviously too long already. But last thing to show you, again it's in black so I know it's not a spring piece of clothing but I bought it in the spring so I'm going to show you. This is again from my Teresa. If you guys saw my designer haul video which is linked for you already or somewhere in the description box definitely go and check that out. You'll have seen the two Dolce Gabbana skirts that I bought and I love the design of them, I love the cut of them. I just love that figure hugging yet fluted look. I think it's so so pretty. So I picked up something that's relatively similar but in leather because you guys know I love leather. This is a really pretty take on leather. So this is a pleated leather skirt from Diane von Furstenberg and the pleats are basically sewn in up to hip level and then as you go down the skirt the pleats are actually and very beautifully interspersed with chiffon. Again another classic piece or at least for me this will be a classic piece doesn't really have a season to it. There, I think you can see it better there. So you can see the alternating panels of chiffon and leather. It's really, really pretty, very, very girly and feminine. So although it's black leather, it's a very soft way of wearing black leather. Well, I know that that was quite a lot of clothing, but I have been shopping for the spring season since it basically started in the shops. So it's quite a little collection. I'm pretty much done, I think. I don't really need any more bits and pieces. So that is part one of this spring haul video done. I will film part two, which is going to be my shoes and a new bag and any other accessories that I might have bought. But I hope that you've enjoyed this little look through what I've got and what I'm going to be wearing this coming season. I'd love to know what you think of what I've got. So please don't forget to head on down into the comment section down below and leave me a comment. As ever, everything that I have mentioned, if I can link it, I will leave a link for you down below if you fancy checking it out and finding out more about it. Or if I can't find the exact same thing, then I'll try and find something similar. And if you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know that it worked and that you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. Thank you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.